Welcome back to Tipsy Gentlemen. I'm your host, Chris T. Ian, and I'm joined by special guest. Um, I? You are? Bre oh, I, I, no, no. Yes. I, I technically shouted you out, so I know who you are. It's Bren Tenge. I said Technage last time, which was wrong. Uh, Tenkage. Uh, that's, that's, but it would be the first time I got the name wrong. It probably won't be the last. Uh, yeah, so Bren here is a, a big fan of my work. He often comments on a lot of my uh, TCC stuff. And I, uh, he even requested some stuff. Like I remember you talk, you requested the uh, the animal video. I like animals. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be discussing uh, two subjects. Mine is a movie, and Bren wants to talk about uh, what was it again? Bren, we'll go. We'll you do your subject first. Dungeons and Dragons. That that's a Satanist game, isn't it? Demon and witchcraft. Oh. Exactly. Well, yes, you could play someone who summons demonic things. Those are actually a lot harder to summon than say, oh, I'm okay. I'm gonna contact from the Planeer Plains angels. And seriously, we get we're talking old school stuff. Like you get you know your regular archons, your little balls of light. But then you get like angels of flaming swords of battle. Oh, huh, so, hmm, I, I guess Dungeons and Dragons really isn't as satan- well, it could be, but I, huh, it's, I guess it's not as bad as I once thought. You can, hey, if you want to play one of those non-violent characters, you can play a cleric of healing, or you can be a battle cleric with a hammer. Ooh, that sounds good. And, or a paladin. What's a paladin? Not even Chris knows. <laughs> Nobody knows what a paladin is. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, hmm. So, okay. Since I have no clue how to play role-playing games, uh, I know Midi was his friends do, but uh, please enlighten me. How do you play role-playing tabletop games? Well, step one. Get some friends. <laughs> I, I have those. Step two. Step two. Get some dice. Step three, uh, get, uh, first off, how much money do you have? Because this might cost you a lot. Oh, well, I'm rich and, uh... A minimum of eight player handbooks, plenty of different monster manuals, then you also got, you know, now that I think about, now that I'm saying this out loud, it feels like a scam. Hmm. It's the big industrial corporations trying to drain the hard-working middle class out of money. Oh my god, it all makes sense! My god. Alex Jones was right. And when Alex Jones is right, the world as we know it becomes a darker place. You know, let's move on to something a little more lighthearted. Uh, what's your topic? Oh, okay, uh, okay. So my subject is, it's a movie. It's called Dogma. Now, I, now since I'm a, a, a te uh, allowed to watch rated R films, the only rated R film I was allowed to watch back then was Passion of the Christ, and that's because it's a great movie. But um, this, uh, this movie, it's made by a well-known Catholic director named Kevin Smith, and uh, it has a, a pretty big star cast of uh, people like uh, ben Affleck, Matt Damon, uh, the very late Alec Rickman was in this. Oh, wow, that's actually a really good cast. Yep. So, okay, the, the plot is, well, I want to say Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are the main characters, but they're kind of the antagonists, I guess. Well, okay, the plot is uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are two rogue angels who have been banished from heaven, and they want to get back into heaven. And there's uh, a Catholic church in New Jersey that's going to be opened, and they see the opportunity that when that church is opened, they can open the gates of heaven and go back into heaven. 
But what they don't know is that that's actually going to lead to the world's destruction. And they really don't care. They just want to go back home. Well, let's face it. We all want to go home. Yeah. But, wait, do they know what's going to lead to the destruction of the world, or...? Well, they, okay, halfway through the movie, they do learn that that's the case, but, well, Matt, Matt Damon, he, he, his character goes, oh, no, I, I, that's, we don't want that. But Ben Affleck says, I don't care, I just want to go home. So e even knowing that what they're going to do is going to lead to world destruction, he doesn't care. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, even Satan's like, hey, I don't want to destroy the world, that's where all my stuff is. Oh, yeah, and there's also a demon in the movie. He, well, he's kind of a side character. He, I guess the one pulling the strings? He's played by uh, Jason Lee. Jason Lee? Um, who, oh, so, oh, yeah. So, meanwhile, while this is going on, someone has to stop these two rogue angels. Who is that? It, well, it's a woman who is an abortion clinic uh, employee and a former Catholic. She, uh, she is then called upon by the Metatron, who is played by Alan Rickman. He is... The voice of the gods, angel, basically. It, this movie is based heavily on Catholicism. And so, he comes down and says that she, it's her destiny to stop these rogue angels. And along the way, she will get assistance from other very spiritual people. Including uh, two, um, well, for lack of a better term, potheads named Jay and Silent Bob, who are apparently from other Kevin Smith films. Oh, clerks. Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, actually, wait. Yeah, it, it's from the same director of a movie called Clerks. Did you know that there was an animated series called Clerks? Oh, yeah. You know, Clerks animated series? It's funny you say that, because I was actually going to review that at some point. <laughs> Send it to the media whiz. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet he'll love it. Knowing, knowing media whiz, I think he likes this movie, too, so he probably will get a kick out of the show. So... <laughs> Uh, so, Jan Silent Bob, um, oh, they have one of the third, uh, one of the, uh, Twelve Apostles, I don't really know Catholicism, sorry, uh, but this is the Thirteenth Apostle, who was never given any credit, and he's played by, uh, Chris Rock. So we got Sassy Black Man character, and, <laughs> and, uh, there is a Muse character, played by Salma Hayek. And she was left out of the Bible because apparently she's a woman. Insert uh, modern liberal feminism there. Yeah, insert all that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the, this demon played by Jason Lee is trying to stop them. He sends a feces monster. I'm not making that up. And the effects... Wait, I'm sorry. A feces monster. Yes, a monster made of actual feces. You know, that wouldn't be the first time I've heard of a feces monster. You ever heard of something called a manure golem? Yes. <laughs> I actually have. In this game, are you claiming you know how to play D&D? &D? Are you sure? <laughs> so, and as, the, as uh, the, the movie, it's a comedy, but most of the comedy comes from what people are saying. And uh, this movie... It is, it's made by a Catholic, but it's, it's not afraid to pick apart religious extremists. Like, they, they pretty much pick apart, it's not about the story, it's about the message and how you perceive that message, and that's a really good lesson. I can respect that, I can respect that. And, um, that's basically, uh, it ends with, uh, okay, I might as well discuss the ending. So... When they get, uh, they actually, the two rogue angels actually do get to Jersey. Matt Damon's character doesn't want to go through because he doesn't want to destroy humanity because he's interacted with humans and he knows that humans have feelings and all this kind of stuff. Matt, uh, Ben Affleck still just wants to go home, so he says, you know, forget all of humanity. They'll die. Who cares? Uh, but then God comes down to Earth and actually, uh, okay, so apparently this is part of Catholicism. God has a voice that is so mighty and so loud, it can actually, like, destroy humans. And so, they, uh, they take off Ben Affleck's wings with a machine gun, because, yes. <laughs> yeah, hey, we're gonna take him out, take him out with style. And, um, God, uh, apparently God is a woman. That, yeah. Played by... I don't know, God, well, think about this. 
if God created man in his own image, couldn't that mean that he would could all that God could be both man and woman, or at least be whatever he wants to be? For all we know, God is just a pair of eyes in a floating void. It could be what whatever you look at, you just envision what you think he or he or she is. That's a good point. Oh, and the person that got to play God is an atheist, Atlantis Morissette. Points for irony. Uh, well, it's not the first time. The, they got they got a an, a well known atheist. Um, what's it? Um, Morgan Freeman to play God and Bruce Almighty. Wait, Morgan Freeman's an atheist? I didn't know that. Well, he's not uh, in he's not uh, in Bruce Almighty and Evan Almighty. He is. Huh. Fair enough. Yeah, and so uh, so now that uh. Ben Affleck is in a mortal form because they took out his only source of holy power, which was his wings. Again, I think that, I'm pretty sure that's in Catholicism. Uh, he ends up, uh, the god comes down and lets out a mighty roar and Ben Affleck's head explodes. Like, like scanners? Don't know what that is, I'm going to say yes. Uh, it, yeah, in conclusion, Dogma is, it's a really good movie, and I, I really do recommend it. Like, even if you're not religious, like, I'm a Christian, and Bren, I think you're an atheist, right? Or... Yeah, I'm an atheist. Well, I'm starting to become... Atheist charged. Well, I'm starting to become a little bit more uh, open-minded, because uh, people say that that's the, the new wave of Christianity, so I'm, I'm, I'm respecting that. Yeah, that's that, that's a good way to put it. Some all of Jesus's, uh, you know, teachings into one phrase. Don't be an ass. Technically, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but uh, but but the point is, I'm trying to make here is, I don't like you could be of any religion, and y I think you could get a, a good kick out of this movie. It's a bit long. It's close to two hours, but. Uh, yeah, apparently, uh, D&D uh, &D lasts even longer, so I bet a lot of people can have the patience, especially for a really good movie like this. Yeah, I think I could enjoy it. Also, oh, I just remember one more thing. George Carlin plays a Catholic priest in the movie. George Carlin! Yeah. And, and this is also the movie that gave us the Buddy Christ, the, the Jesus that goes this. Oh my god, the Buddy Christ? Yeah, he... That's that's where this came <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta see it. I gotta see the origin of a meme. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess in conclusion of today's podcast is Dungeons & Dragons is not as satanic as we thought, kind of like Harry Potter, which, yes, before anyone says anything, I now know that Harry Potter was actually inspired by Christian uh, ideology. I know. And go watch Dogma. <laughs> uh... Thanks, Cordy. VeggieTales references, folks. Um, yeah. Th thank you for watching this podcast, and thank you so much, Bren, for joining. Eh. About time I finally came in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, don't forget to check out Bren. Uh, I, uh, uh, the person who edits this video will put the link in the description for his channel, because uh, I think he uh, did an The person that runs this channel, uh, Steve... Hi, uh, uh, you, he, you did an interview with him, so special props. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Bye.